If a group of lithium batteries is accidentally short-circuited but without beam and spot, and the consequences will be very serious. So today we will do a short circuit protection test of a lithium battery BMS board. This is 17 streams, 60 volts lithium batteries, and the capacity is 50 amp power. Then we choose a 70 streams, 60 volts BMS board, and discharge cover with 60 amp power. And now we can use a multimeter to check the real voltage before the BMS board and after the BMS board. And now we can see, before the BMS board, we can see the total voltage of this battery pack is 61.3 volts. And after beam board, you can see the voltage of this battery now is 61.3 volts. Now let's get to the point, short circuit test. So this side is a total negative side, and this side is total positive side of the battery. So now if we connect two sides directly, what will happen? Let's see. Three, two, one. And now you can see, even though there is a little spot here, the short circuit protection of beam board was activated, and that means if you connect these two sides directly, it's okay. So now we remove it away and the beam board will work again. And now let's try it again. Okay, it's safe. So the conclusion is if a lithium battery pack is equipped with the beam board, it's safe when the short circuit happens. The short circuit current of different capacity, different type and different rates of battery varies greatly. The short circuit cut-off time of a BM board is generally 200 microseconds to 500 microseconds. If the short circuit current is too large with this time, the instantaneous power will exceed the range that most tube in the BMS board can withstand. And then the most tube crystal source will be burned. And that is the board will be fired. Like this group of lithium battery pack, the BM board discharge current is 60 ampere. If we change it to 20 ampere, when a short circuit happens, it will be banned. The smaller the overall internal resistance is, the greater the current will be produced during the short circuit. You can refer to the following formula. Current is equal to voltage divided by internal resistance. At the beginning of the design, the short circuit current of the normal BMS board should not be more than 7 times of the continuous current of the BMS board. The detailed parameters need to be consulted with the protection board factory. So, when we finish the assembling of battery pack, in order to ensure the product quality, we may also have a short circuit test for the BMS board.